Good morning guys, welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. Tattoos. My name is Trevor and today we are doing something big. What are we doing today, Riley? Baptized. Being baptized. And I got this tattoo last night. It's a cat. And I'm running <laughs> over a monster truck. It giggles. Yep, I, I showed them. They see it. Ow! So we, we found some temporary tattoos. The boys had fun with them, you know. No, no hurt, no, no harm, no foul. We're all good. But yes, today we're going to, Riley and I are going to be baptized, which is pretty cool because I've had my shirt and their shirts just came in yesterday. So Adi's got a red one and Riley just so happened to pick a blue one. So today we're matching and this is what we will be baptized in. It's going to be really neat. <clears throat> and when Adi is ready, don't worry, when Adi is ready, He'll do it. And the same, the same for Cohen. So, anyways, before we get into too much detail, into too much of the going into it, whatnot, let's get into our Jesus Calling devotional book here today. Which today is Sunday, August 29th, and you are bringing the bike up here. You're gonna get hurt. <laughs> Demonstrate your trust in me by sitting quietly in my presence. Put aside all that is waiting to be done and refuse to worry about anything. The sacred time together strengthens you and prepares you to face whatever the day will bring. By waiting with me before you begin the day's activity, you proclaim the reality of my living presence. <laughs> this act of faith waiting before working is noted in the spirit world where your demonstration of trust weakens princi principalities 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 I'm not too sure and powers of darkness principalities I think that's right the most effective way to resist evil is to draw near me when you need to take action, I will guide you clearly through my spirit and my word. The world is so complex and overstimulating that you could easily lose your sense of direction. Doing countless unnecessary activities will dissipate your energy. When you spend time with me, I restore your sense of direction. As you look to me for guidance, I enable you to do less but accomplish more. Well, there we have it, and now we will roll that intro and meet up with you guys at the church where we're going to be being, where we're being <laughs> baptized, and we'll, we'll take you along for that experience, for that ride, and show you guys the process of being baptized. Now let's get it. Okay. have done it. We have three people. Yep. Three people. Three people on. Yeah. Woo! Cowboy dance. Yeah. <laughs> church and we're here early we're gonna go inside and figure out where to set the GoPro <laughs> again that he now sits at the father's right hand until he returns to judge all people at the last day and do you believe in the Holy Scriptures as the inspired Word of God that by the grace of God every person has the ability and responsibility to choose between right and wrong and that those who repent of their sins and believe in Jesus Christ are justified by faith Right, and the other question is, do you intend by this act to testify to all the world that you are a Christian and that you will be a loyal follower of Christ? Yes. yes. All right, okay. Rochelle's going to leave.
Riley Lee Griffin, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Riley Lee Griffin, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So I pause the me the music so we don't get carpet rock climbs. Anyhow, so anyhow, um, guys, th thank you so much for joining us through our baptism. That was that was definitely a blast. It is honestly it was, it was it was amazing. I don't I don't know how to explain it. I I just I don't. You want to be baptized? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can definitely do that, Cohen. When you get a little bit older and you start understanding, we do it. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I look forward to it, Bubba. We can do that. Maybe you and Adi can do it at the same time if he's ready. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be kind of cool. But anyways, what I wanted to tell you guys is I just... I've got, i got to say it, i just got to tell you. So, leading up to being baptized this, this weekend today, every single night for the past week, I have had a dream of me drowning during that baptism. Literally me drowning, like things coming up from the bottom of the water pulling me down, drowning me. Now you might be like, whoa, that's scary. And I'm here to tell you that those were some of my demons that were like, no, uh-uh, nope, you ain't going through that door. You ain't going through that door. I'm, I'm blocking this door. Yes, Cohen? Yes, he, Cohen hurt his hand. He's going to be okay. So, literally, I had demons all week long trying to pull me down trying to not let me hit this breakthrough trying to put doubt in my my heart my mind and the best part about it is every single night every single dream that happened hang on hold on bubba okay please please wait i'm trying to talk to them Colin. okay we'll tell them in just a second okay thank you 
So every single time, every night, when I'd have this dream, and I, to be honest with you guys, I don't know what time it was, and it, it probably it was close to three. If it's my guess, it was close to three o'clock. And so every time that I'd start feeling that I'm drowning, I would just smile and I'd say, Jesus is my savior. And immediately the dream ended and I woke up and I was smiling and I would just real quick, thank you, Jesus. And I'd go right back to sleep. And being baptized today, going in there, knowing that I'm going to be in the water for like a second, not even, not even that long. It's going to, I'll be in and out. And I'm going to be fine. Still. In that water. When I was in the water. It felt like I was in there forever. And my eyes were closed. But here's the best part. I felt like I could see everything. Everything. Like I feel like I could see me in the water. The crowd. All the churchgoers. Like it. It, it was amazing. Definitely was the, one of the more spiritual moments of my life. And I've had plenty of those. Where it, it's like sitting next to God. Looking down. Watching from above. And you get to see everybody's perspective. And that split second of me being underwater. That's what it was like. And... You know, I just thank God. I thank God. I thank Jesus and the Holy Spirit for for those moments because they're they're truly, truly special. They're amazing. I hope that maybe you can experience something like that, and I hope that you see through through the ones that are blocking those open doors because Jesus has opened those doors, and He's He's ready for you to walk through them. So just keep walking keep going it'll be worth it now let's get to Cohen's little hand story right quick before we end off this great video and go have us some dinner and relax for the evening all right Cohen saw you boss So the last time you were at Papa's, <laughs> for those of you that couldn't quite understand, I'll, I'll fill you in. So Cohen, they were out playing, and Cohen tripped and cut his hand open a little bit, and then he also got that cool hat. Mm -hmm. And Grandma's going to put Arctic Vet on that hat for him, and he's going to wear that hat all day every day probably just like daddy does except my head i'm not wearing it today it's chilling right there it's not far it's not far guys anyways i think riley's already riley's asleep oh yeah matthew hurt his leg him and cohen were just on a on a hurting spree darn it <laughs> yep cohen hurt his elbow but anyways, we hope that you guys felt like you were there, like you were involved in this. You guys, this is a huge stepping point for me personally in my life, but also for the channel. It is, it's proof, it, it brings out publicly that yes, I am a Christian and I'm, no matter, no matter what, I'm going to express my, uh, my everything. I'm going to share everything. I already have. I already do. My struggles. The difficult times. I leave those in videos for you guys to see that we're... This is real. <laughs> it's not... It's not scripted. It's not... I Literally, it's day by day. Sometimes I may know what I'm going to do the next day. But most of the time I wake up and it's... Okay, God, what am I doing today, bro? What's happening? What are we doing, brother? So... Anyways, I appreciate y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. It's an amazing day. It's also 
Cameron's birthday, so happy birthday, Cameron. <laughs> so we had a birthday lunch with him. Oof. That's, it's family, it's family, it's family. Just in case you're wondering. Like, wait, who's Cameron? <laughs> but anyhow, we're home now. We're gonna go edit this video. Have us a great day. <laughs> Wave at the neighbor. God bless y'all, and we'll see you tomorrow in another video.